Yeah, it's a, it's a missed opportunity, especially in a series of games where we're not having many home games. So this is this is an important game. Obviously, it's a uh, it's a team that, um, to be fair to them, they played a, a nice game the other night, and you know they were difficult to break down once we gave them the the lead in the first half. But uh, it's a it's a home game, and it's something we should be getting three points out of these games. And I felt like just the the intensity in the first half was just way too was way too low. It was too easy for the opposition. Uh, too many sideways pa back passes, back passes. Everything took too long. The intensity to win balls and recover balls, first up balls, second balls. Their goal comes off of a second ball that that you know we don't impose ourselves in the challenge, and they get to play the next ball forward through our lines, and it ends up in the back of our net. So it just. For us being at home and this being such an important start, the intensity level at the beginning was just, it was too, didn't have enough urgency, right? And, and it was like we wanted to play this beautiful passing soccer, but we needed to go impose ourselves on the opposition and set the tone and tempo of the game. And, and uh, we certainly didn't do that in the first half. I thought it was, it was more so in the second half and we pushed the game. Obviously they were in a position where they were protecting a lead for the majority of it, but at least we were playing forward and we were running forward and we were, some more guys were sprinting and we were fighting to recover balls and compete for balls. And uh, at times it got a little bit chaotic and disorganized, I think just because of the emotion of pushing the game, which, but we've got to be able to, with this group to find the emotion and the urgency and still stay organized and purposeful in what we're doing. And we're kind of like, we're, we're, we're back and forth on uh, on that one, where we have urgency and, and intensity, and then we lose a little bit of a, the structure of the game and what we're trying to do. And then at times when we have a little bit of structure, we lack the the purpose and intensity in the game. And so it, those two have to get to a balance so that we uh, that we can find the the form that we're looking for. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Next, go to Josh Gessman. Hey, Greg. Thanks for the time. Um, what did you see from Chicharito? Obviously, he gets his 11th goal of the season. Uh, it looked like he had a good combination with uh, with Jovalich there in the second half. Um, are, were you happy with that partnership? Yeah, I, I think it's a partnership that can certainly flourish. They have they don't have many minutes together and have many training sessions together either. So it's it's early days. Uh, but anytime you also play with two forwards, you've got to build a nice structure and be able to protect yourself around it and be able to hold the ball and be able to do some different things be able to get the ball wide into wide areas, deep to the end lines and get yourself in crossing positions, things like that. If you're gonna have two guys in front of the box or, or in front of the goal, like those two. Uh, so it, it's you know it's a little bit different setup than what we've had through majority of the season, which the whole group has to get used to, which you know we need a little bit of training time to work through that. It's not something you wanna, you wanna spend a lot of time working through on, the, on a match day. And so, um, but yes, they're, they're obviously two guys who can complement each other. Obviously, Dayan set, set Javi up a couple times uh, so they can, they can also play, uh, play that role as well with, with one another. So it, it was nice to see them on, but again, for me, it's just the broader collective performance that we have to, we as a group have to get to another level. I know after last game you said you didn't want to say it, but the team only gave up one goal, and that was better than giving up multiple goals. Do you feel like the defense is, is taking steps forward, or, or are you still sort of somewhere in between? No, we're still in between. I, I just don't think it's uh, I don't think it's controlled and intentional and winning. We're still disjointed as a group in our movements. You know, I, I still feel like sometimes guys are are resting or holding positions and they need to move with the rest of the group and keep us connected. There's, there's still gaps that shouldn't be gaps. Uh, you know, I think again, imposing ourselves in challenges and first and second balls, being more active in our movement so that when things fall free, we are first to get there and we're anticipating quicker. It's just, it's, uh, again, it's the, it's the urgency and, and the, and the, um, yeah, just the, it's the collective movement, staying connected to each other, making sure that we're positions to compete for the original, to cover each other, to pick up second balls, to do all of those things where you recover balls in ways that you want to recover balls. You don't recover balls because you force the opposition, you know, into just making a mistake and a counterattack or something. So it, it's just got to get more uh, cohesive. And again, I, I take that. Uh, part of that is us continuing to grow as a group. Part of that is us trying to get everybody back on the field together and moving together. And that takes work and training. And it's not something 
so we've got to we've got to build through this this series. It is what it is, and we are where we are. But we've got to um, we've got to find every moment we can to just try to connect this group back together again and and get it uh, get ourselves moving more cohesively as a group. Whether that's with two forwards or or one or whatever that looks like, it's just got to be again more connected. Thanks, Greg. Yep. All right. Thanks for your time, Greg. Okay. Thanks.